Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my Simple Cottage Life. Hey everybody, good morning. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. I know today is Tuesday. I just wanted to come on here right quick and let y'all all know I'm still here. I'm still alive and kicking. I have just been very, very busy. Uh, you know that I have an acre and a quarter that I have to take care of, and it's a lot for me. It sure is, especially with mowing and weed eating and, and cutting, clipping the hedges and picking up the sticks and burning things, and it just seems like there's always something that has to be done, especially during the springtime. You know, spring is when we go out and we find that branches have fallen off the trees and we have to pick up everything and put them in piles and burn them and there is just an awful lot to do and all of a sudden it just seems like the weeds just just spring up and it's almost a, a fight to keep those weeds down and to keep everything mowed and clean looking and i like for things to be neat and tidy i just do you can see behind me my little bird sanctuary. Y'all, I am loving that. I love to sit over here and watch my birds. I like to watch them come to their fountain. Now, it's not going this morning because there's no sun on it. It has to charge up a little bit before it can run, but I am loving that little fountain I'm thinking about doing another one somewhere else out here of course but I, I just love them and the birds just flock to that it's so fun to watch let's see yesterday I did some mulch moving again I got about two carts full and then and spread out and then I was worn out it seems like it seems like it doesn't take a whole lot to wear me out these days. I'm, I gotta admit to you, I'm slowing down. I'm getting tired. You know, around the middle of May, I will be 73 years old. And my mind, remember, thinks I'm 30. But my body knows better. And I am slowing down. It's getting to where each task takes me longer and I get tired more quickly. And that's just the way it is when we start getting older. But if I can keep that mindset that I'm younger, I can keep going. I get up in the morning, it takes me a little while to get my, my legs moving around. It seems like my joints gets real stiff during the night and in the morning I'm like a zombie stomp 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 through the house I don't know if y'all can identify with that some of you are too young to understand that but uh, it seems like when you get past 70 you start experiencing you you know that zombie walk is what I call it it takes it a while before my joints kind of loosen up and and uh, I can walk like a normal human being but I have enjoyed so far this spring so much. I, I am loving it. It's the most beautiful spring that I have ever seen. I'm a little worried about my umbrella tree right back here because it is taking a very long, long time for it to put on its leaves. That's not the name of it. That's what I call it because I don't remember what the name of it was. It's been 20 years or so, maybe 15 years or so since that was planted back there. I've got another one just like it, the same species in my front yard, and it's putting on leaves. It's doing well. But this one just doesn't have very many leaves, and y'all know that's my favorite tree. Uh, aside from these Catawba trees right up here, that's what this big thing is. 
um, they already are dropping their worms. I see their worms uh, on the ground every so often. I'm not afraid of those. When I was a kid, I'd find them uh, in the yard at my house that we, when I grew up and I'd find them way out from the tree and I'd pick them up and run and take them back. <laughs> I thought I was taking them home. <laughs> I can't stand for them to be too far from the tree because I know that the birds and, and so forth get them and that bothers me. I, I can't tell you why. I don't understand. That's the way kids think, you know? Anyway, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today. I've already done the mowing. I've already done the weed eating, although I could do a little bit more. It seems like as soon as a weed eat something, two days later, it's back up the way it was. And I've already cleaned my, my uh, fountain. I've already filled up my bird feeders. Um, so all that stuff is done. And I don't want to work in the house today because it's going to be a wonderful day. The sun is coming out and going to be really nice. Yesterday was about 82. But we're going to have some more rain this week. And my paint comes uh, Wednesday and I'm not ready I won't be ready to paint because there's gonna be too much uh, rain going on so I'm gonna have to paint a little here and a little there and take my time on that because I, I can't wear myself out y'all know that and I can't climb so I'm gonna have to use my broom handle and my roller do it that way not doing a sprayer somebody suggested I use a sprayer nope I've used a sprayer before mm -mm can't do that anyway I just wanted to let y'all know yes I am here I am doing okay I'm just tired but I'm gonna keep going because that we got to keep going you know we we can't give up so I hope y'all all have a wonderful day whatever you decide to do today make it make it a great day I hope God is good to you I hope you will come back and meet and, and uh, have coffee with me again or, or sit and chat with me again. I love it. Thank you for your comments, every single one of you. Thank you for our, my new subscribers. I'm aware of you and I appreciate you very much. Uh, you're very important to me. Okay, everybody have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.